What's up guys, this is Kim from Einfach Machen. In this video I'd like to share with you how you can set up fast read an active learning tool for systematic reviews. So first of all, why am I doing this video? Uh, in the near future, I'm going to do a systematic review of literature. And I was looking for a tool which could help me select the right studies because I have a data set of about 1000 publications and I needed a tool that could help me read and select and screen these publications quite fast. And I found fast read. It's from Titus Beric and Tim Mancis. I hope I spell this right. And they say this tool can help you support you with primary study selections using active learning. So you can uh, upload your publications in this tool and then you can determine whether it's relevant, irrelevant or if you're not sure you can select undetermined and after a while this tool will learn from your selections and present you the relevant studies and I found this quite interesting so I wanted to try it out and maybe there are other people out there who want to use this tool so this video could be helpful for you because I spent quite some time setting it up but in the end it worked out really great so I really like this tool. Okay, first of all, um, quite simple. Uh, we can download the zip. So after downloading it, I've just put it in my GitHub folder and there you can see all the boss code. And the next step, we need to install Anaconda by Continuum or it's recommended by the authors. So I will install this as well. So you can just run through this installation. They documented it's important that you select add to path during install we will install this so after that i will copy the file path and search for anaconda prompt and just do a change directory into the file and in the readme they say you can now run the setup so this can take a while it took about one or two minutes on my computer so this was successful and now i can navigate into the source folder and from that I can start the program and now you can open this hyperlink and on your local host there will be tool already running I'm opening so after installing fastread the next step is to format the data in the format recommended for that we can have a look on our source folder and go into workspace and data and here we will find some sample data which tells us how the data needs to be formatted can have a look on this using the editor for example so the format is quite straightforward it's the document title the abstract the year PDF link and label um, I will use these headers these column titles as well in my Excel file so I've got my Excel file here and I just need to change this into document title um, keywords we don't really need keywords so I will remove this one this one as well publication year we can turn this into year to be honest, I didn't test if it works with the columns named like that, but I just want to be sure that it works fine. So I've, I'm using it as recommended by this template file. So the table is quite straightforward. So what I did in the next step is I've concatenated a string that I can put into a text file or a CSV file and then import with fast read. Um, we'll do this in Excel using the concatenate function or the concat function. So we need the document title, the comma here. And after that, we can see it right there. We need these quotation marks where we put our abstract quotation marks here. After that, we abstract. We need a comma here, here, right here. And after that, L. And last but not least, the label column. I'm not quite sure we really need this column, but just edit it in my table. So this is what my string looks like. So I will create a new file using my editor and I would just copy these title columns and all the other columns recommended by the template file and in the next step copy my string as well and give it the name patients csv and now we can put this file into the directory 
of our fast read. So we'll put it here into the data folder fastread.csv. And now we can make our first test on that file. First, I would recommend using one of these templates just to verify that this one works. 8,911 publications or rows are in this table. And now we're going to use our fast read test. And as we can see, nothing changes. There are some issues. That was the point that took me quite a while to figure out what the issue was because I had to replace some characters in my files and we will have a look on this now. So what I did to figure out what the problem is and why my file does not get uploaded, I've created a really, really small test file and made different tests on it. I figured out that if I put a comma here, so if my title has a comma, this is abstract. If I put a comma in here, I've separated my columns with a comma and I think FastRead takes this as the separator. So if I upload this now, my test file, abstract and keyword paper. So there are some issues. And now if I replace the comma with a blank space or something like that, I just put a blank space in here. This is the title, abstract and keyword. So this is my title. I replaced this comma here and it should work out well. Have a look on this. Just another quick tip if you make tests with other files there's a memory folder here and you have to delete these test file.pickle. I think it's some kind of caging or something like that. I always had to delete this file to verify a new test. So now you can see that it works quite well. This is title abstract and keyword paper. So this is my title and this is my abstract and Fastry doesn't care if I put quotation marks in here or a comma or a semicolon or something like that. Just important that my title does not contain any commas and it's quite common that there are commas in the title uh, which I had to figure out. So what I did um, was looking for all the document titles which had commas in it. So you can see it here, tools for programming, code generation and designs. So what I had to do, just selected them all and do a find and replace, searching for a comma, replacing it with a blank space or whatever you like. So in my case, there were 125 occurrences of a comma. I'll now make another test on that and it should work now. So in the end, there should be 1467 rows. I've deleted all the old rows with the comma in my title and paste in correct format. And now let's give it another try in fast read. Always remember to delete these pickle files. And as you can see, now it works. I have got 1467 files. So this works quite well. And now I'm going to start with my study selection and I'm looking for publications that deal with challenges when implementing low code platforms. So I'm really interested in whether Bastard is able to manage this research question and select the appropriate papers for me. So I will start with my study selection process by reading through these papers. I just finished the first batch and I click on next to get the next 10 papers to read through. So as we can see, Already after the first set of 10 papers, it's starting to realize that I'm looking for low code platform publications. And there were a lot of publications regarding software quality because um, there were keywords in it like low code quality or low code reuse rate or something like that. After the first set, it already recognizes that I'm looking for the low code paradigm. Let's keep on selecting and let's have a look how this ends up. And now it's starting to form it some kind of scoring here, I think so. And all these papers look in my opinion pretty pretty good with regard to my research question. So we are now on our third set. I'm pretty exciting what it offers us now. And this looks pretty good as well. The score is a bit higher than at the previous set. So I activated this plot and enable estimation and now it tells me that there are an 
estimated number of 97 documents, which might be relevant for my study. And I can also see that I reviewed around 40 documents and 22 of them might be relevant for me. As you can see now, the score has changed from a very, very, very small number to a very high score. And now I can choose whether these studies are relevant. And uh, to be honest, most of these studies seem to be very, very relevant. So um, the selection rule is really good, I think. I finally now have reviewed 388 publications and 94 publications seem to be relevant to me. So I've coded them as, as relevant. And now you can see that there are an estimation, there is an estimation of 97 documents which might be relevant. And the documentation says keep reviewing studies until you think most relevant ones have been retrieved. If estimation is enabled, stop when X is close to or greater than 0 0.95 or 0 0.90 of the estimated number of relevant studies. So if I divide uh, my 94 by 97, then I get this score and I might have covered 96% of the relevant literature. So I will stop at this point and now have a look on my studies. And as you can see, this is my data set for low code development platforms and you can see that I have selected all the studies which I have coded as relevant and this looks pretty good to me um, just by taking a look at these studies um, out of a data set of about 1500 studies it selected the most relevant for me and in a quite fast way so I had to review about 400 publications rather than 1500. So I hope this step-by-step -step guide for using FastRead might be useful and I wish you great fun with your systematic literature review.